Hey kids, I'm Jeremiah, and I'm here to welcome you to this week's episode of Celebration Online. Today, we're going fishing. Ooh-wee, that caught me a big one. Anyway guys, we have a, a fish-tastic skit plan for you today. Fisherman Frank is here. Guys, check this out. We're talking about healing, and you know what else the Bible says in Exodus 15, 26? It says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And so that's God, he wants you to be healed. He wants you to be whole and he wants you to be well. And so that's God's will. That's God's plan for your life to be healed, to be well and to be whole. Wow, that looks so fantastic. I cannot wait guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the episode and I'll see you later.
worship with us. you're watching Celebration Online today. We have been learning about healing the last few weeks and it has been so good. So before we get to today's lesson, let's review. First, we talked about how God is good, let me see your thumbs up, and the devil is bad. We talked about how sickness, which is bad, comes from the devil and how healing, which is good, comes from God. You got it. Then, we talked about how the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means as Jesus went around healing people in the Bible, God is still healing people today. 
and he'll still heal people in the future. God's will is that you are healthy and whole and that you are healed. Then we talked about how there are many methods for receiving healing. The Bible says that you can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So we encourage you to do that and you can always come to church and ask your pastor to lay hands on you, to pray with you. He would love to do that. We also, we speak words of faith. We use the prayer of faith. And another method that we're gonna talk more about today is the gift of healing. That's when God does a miracle. Normally this happens instantaneously. That means it happens right away. God does a miracle and someone is healed. And it reminds me of a fisherman. When a fisherman goes out, he uses bait to catch his fish. And those fish, they want to jump on that hook because they want that worm or whatever bait is on that hook. They just want to jump on and eat that yummy worm. And you know, when people that maybe aren't Christians yet, maybe they haven't accepted Jesus into their hearts yet, when they see someone receive a healing through the gift of healing, get a miracle, or maybe they receive a miracle themselves, that just shows them how good God is and they want to have that life with God. They want to accept Jesus into their hearts. Well, today's Bible story, we encourage you to read it this week at home. It is found in the book of John chapter nine. You see, Jesus was walking with some of his disciples and they walked past a man that had been blind. He couldn't see, he had been blind since birth. And the disciples started asking Jesus about this man. And you know what Jesus did? The Bible tells us that he spit on the ground. It sounds a little funny, I know, but he made mud with the dirt with his spit and he smeared that on the man's eyes and he told him to go wash in the pool that was there. And the man did, he obeyed, he washed off and the man was healed right away. It was a gift of healing, a miracle done through Jesus. Let's look at our memory verse today. It is Matthew 8, 17. And it says, He himself, meaning Jesus, took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. You see, kids, when God sent Jesus to die on the cross, he didn't just die on the cross for our sin. He did that so we could have a relationship with God and so we can receive all of the benefits of living as a Christian, living with Jesus in our hearts. And that includes receiving healing. We don't have to be sick. It's God's will for you to be healed. And that is why he sent Jesus over 2,000 years ago to die on the cross. So we encourage you, review our memory verse this week. You know, you can build your faith for healing. You don't have to wait until you need a healing, but Build up your faith for healing now so that when you're dealing with something or somebody in your family or a friend is, you are ready to pray in faith for that healing. Well, kids, enjoy the rest of the service. Man, I'm down here on the creek. Oh, I thought I saw one. Oh, come on now, get me that trout. Oh, all right. Well, hey, y'all. It's Fisherman Frank here, and I'm just doing me a little fishing right down here in the creek. I got my bait with me, my worm, and I got me a little cane pole with me, and we just doing it, having a good time down here. And, you know, last time, if you don't remember, you know, we were down in the inlet, and we were catching crabs and and shrimp and man they were good i tell you what you put them in some good old bay season and i tell you what whoa there's some good eating right there fry up some fish and stuff but anyway i was uh i just wanted to talk to you guys last time we talked about faith and so this time i wanted to talk to you about faith towards your healing you know we've been you know i i, I mean you got to have faith for salvation but you also can use your faith for healing you know that and um you know, the Bible says something really important. It's one of my favorite, favorite scriptures is John 10.10. 10. It says, the thief comes not yet before to kill, to steal, and to destroy, but I have come talking about Jesus. Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. 
Jesus wants you to have abundant life. You know what that means? That means he wants you to have an abundance in fish. You know what? When I go fishing, I believe in having an abundance of fish. You know, I love that story. When Jesus tells those guys, the disciples, he says, throw that net on the other side. And all of a sudden they couldn't even get it in the boat. Man, I want to go fishing on a trip like that. I tell you what, I can't wait. One day I won't go on a fishing trip like that. But anyway, we're talking about healing. And you know what else the Bible says in Exodus 15, 26? It says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And so that's God. He wants you to be healed. He wants you to be whole. And he wants you to be well. And so that's God's will. That's God's plan for your life to be healed, to be well, and to be whole. You can speak that over your own life and call yourself well, call yourself healthy, and call yourself whole because that's what God wants for you. And so I think about this. You know, I got, oh, hold on here. Hold on. I'm going to have a bite. Oh, oh, no, no. All right, but anyway, you know, I got all kinds of bait with me. I got me some crickets right here. You know, I got a bunch of crickets because I'm expecting to have an abundance of fish. And then, you know what I got in here? I got a whole bunch of worms. I got a bunch of worms in here, just like the worm that's on my pole right here. And you know what, it's, these, this is bait. And you know what, when I take my cricket or I take my worm and I throw it in the water and I put that bait in there, you know what happens? That attracts the fish. They come towards that bait because you know what? It looks good to them. It don't look good to me but it looks good to those fish. When they see that worm, man, they say, whoa, that looks like some good dinner right there. And they see that cricket, they like that. And you know what, see, Jesus said that we can be fishers of men and healing is like bait in the sense of when people begin to get healed, you know what, I've been in a service one time and there was somebody he couldn't hear and all of a sudden the man of God prayed for him and his ears opened up and he could start and he could hear. You know what happened? He started praising God and you know what? The next night, you know what? There was more people that came because they wanted to get their ears healed. You know, I've seen when, uh, in a service where somebody was blind, they couldn't see out of their eye and the man of God laid hands and prayed on, over them and you know what? Jesus healed their eye and you know what? The next night there was more people there that wanted to see their eye, get their eyes healed. See, when healing is like bait and healing comes in different ways sometimes it's a gift of healing it's like a miraculous miracle it just happens right away and sometimes it's kind of like the working of miracles where it just takes a little bit of time you know i'm out here and i'd love to just throw my first cast and catch me a fish whoa that would be a miracle but you know what sometimes it takes me a little bit of time i gotta find the right spot and i gotta use the right bait to catch the fish that i'm going to catch and so that's what god wants us to do he wants us to be fishers of men and to go and lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. That's what the Bible says. Well, boys and girls, I sure am glad to talk to you about healing today and I'll catch you guys later. Today's Bible story is found in John chapter 9 verses 1 through 38. Stories of the Bible. Jesus heals a man born blind. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey everyone! One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples and he saw a man who was born blind. His disciples wondered whose fault it was that this man was blind. Jesus told them it was not because anyone sinned, but rather it was because the power of God could be shown through this man's life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He spread the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and did as Jesus said, and he could see. Wow! The man's neighbors and others who knew him as the blind man wondered if this was the same man. Is that the same guy? No way. They said, no, he just looks like him. It's right. No, it can't be. But the blind man kept saying, yes, it's me. So the people asked, who healed you? What happened? And the man told them all that Jesus had done for him. Oh, that's what happened. The people asked, where is Jesus now? 
but the man didn't know. So the people took the man to the Pharisees because it was the Sabbath, the day of rest, and they thought Jesus shouldn't have made mud and healed the man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man so many questions. Eh, what's going on? And he answered them, I was blind, but now I can see. The Pharisees kept asking more questions. They even brought the man's parents in to ask them questions, but they wouldn't answer because they were afraid of the Pharisees. Finally, the man had enough and yelled, mm, Look, I told you once, why do you want to hear it again? If this man were not from God, he couldn't have made me see. The Pharisees were so mad at the man for saying this that they threw him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard what happened, oh, hey there. and he found the man and asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Wow! Yes, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped Jesus. Hey kids, we had a great time today teaching you about healing. And healing is one of those benefits that Jesus provided for us. Well, so is salvation. If you have not prayed the prayer of salvation, I wanna invite you to do that with me today. So bow your heads and close your eyes. Father God, I thank you for Jesus. I believe that you sent Jesus to this earth to live and to die and to rise again three days later just for me. I ask you to wash away all my sin, all the wrong things I've done, and make my heart clean again. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. I accept him as my King of Kings and my Lord of Lords. I thank you, Father, for saving me. I am now a Christian. I love you. I praise you. I thank you for all you've done for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Kids, you are now a Christian and part of God's family. Well, something else I would like to pray for is if you are in need of healing, or maybe you have a family member in need of healing, I want you to pray with me. The Bible says to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So, and I want you to grab a scripture. These are some of the many healing scriptures that are listed in our Bible. So grab your hands and put your hands on your body where it's not feeling good, or on your family member's body where they're not feeling well, and say this prayer in faith with me. Are you ready? Father God, I thank you for healing my body. Your word says in Isaiah 53, 5, by your stripes we were healed. So Father, I thank you for healing my body. In Jesus' name, amen. And remember kids, if you don't see your healing right away, what do you do in the meantime? You just continue to thank God and praise God for your answer. Well, we love you. Until next time, bye. Today's secret code is Jesus Still Heals Today. Thank you for watching Celebration Online. Kids, I want to encourage you to make sure that you're in church. At every one of our Family Worship Center locations, we have an amazing children's ministry that you can be a part of. If you live here in the Florence area, come see us. You can meet my husband, Pastor Steve, and see myself over here in celebration. Also, if you live in the Sumter area, join us at our brand new location in Sumter, South Carolina. If you live in Georgetown, you can go worship with Pastor Justin and Miss Joanna at their church. And if you live in Columbia, connect with Pastor JT and Miss Natalie at their church. Kids, come see us in celebration at Family Worship Center. We have a great time every Sunday.